Hello, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be talking about lesson 13.2, the volume of cones. So the formula for the volume of a cone is uh, volume equals one-third base times height, or one-third times pi r squared, since the base is a circle, times your height. Now, what I honestly like to do is just do the same formula for a cylinder, so pi times radius squared times height, and then just divide it by 3. I find that to be easier for me to do that. So, I would also recommend putting this down in your notes. This whole module, all it is is formulas that you're just going to have to plug numbers in and make sure you plug the correct numbers in. So if you look here, for example one, it says find the volume of each cone, round your answers to the nearest tenth. Use 3.14 for pi. So our volume equals pi, 3.14, times radius squared, which here is two, two squared, times your height, which is eight, and then divide that all by three. So the first thing you're going to have to do here is square your two. So you're going to get 3.14 times four times eight, and then divide that by three. I find that easier than multiplying by one third, but it's up to you on how you want to do it. But I think dividing it by three is easier. So we're going to do 3.14 times four times eight, is 100.48 and we're going to divide that by 3 and you get 32.49 and they said round it to the nearest tenth so it's going to be 33.5 33.5 inches cubed the next one here if you look they give you the diameter but we don't need to know the diameter we need to know the radius so the radius is half of that diameter so if your diameter is 8 your radius is 4 so if you have radius is 4, height is 9, that's all you need to solve this. So we're going to do our volume equals, I like to do pi times radius squared times height divided by 3. So volume equals 3.14 times your radius, which is 4, 4 squared times height, which is 9 and then divide all of that by three. And remember, your first thing you're gonna to have to do is square this. So it's gonna be 3.14 times 16 times nine divided by three. So that is 452.16 divided by three is 150.72. And they said to round it to the nearest tenth, which is this place here. So that two is less than five. It's, it's less than five, so it rounds down to 150.7. And that would be cubic feet. So this is the same exact stuff as the last module, except divided by three, because a cone is one third the size of a cylinder with the same base and the same height. So if you take a look here for number four, they give you your diameter. You don't need your diameter. You have to find the radius, which is half of the diameter. So 15 divided by two is 7.5. So your radius is 7.5 and your height is 16. And that's all you actually need to know to find that. So radius is 7.5, height is 16. So volume equals pi times radius squared times height divided by 3. So volume equals 3.14 times 7.5 squared times 16, all that divided by 3. So 7.5 7 squared is 56.25. So it's going to be volume equals 3.14 times 
56.25 times 16, and then all that divided by 3. So 3.14 times 56.25 times 16 is 2,826 divided by 3 is 942. And that should be centimeters cubed. So that was number four on the your turn where you can double check and make sure you're all good there. So we're going to go on to finding the volume of a volcano. So what we have to do is this is your real world problem. And if you ever get lost, there's, this is a, since mine's on the computer, it's a little different, but that should be a QR code in your book. Scan it with your phone and it will go through how to solve these. So the mountain created by a volcano is cone-shaped. It's often cone-shaped. So we're going to find the volume of a volcano. So for her geography project, Karen built a clay model of a volcano in the shape of a cone. Her model has a diameter of 12 inches and a height of 8 inches. Find the volume of clay in her model to the nearest tenth. Use 3.14 for pi. So if you notice, there's that word diameter. We can't use diameter, we have to use radius. So radius is diameter divided by 2. So it's uh, 12 divided by 2, so our radius is 6. So radius is 6, height is 8, and use 3.14 for pi. So volume equals pi times radius squared times height divided by 3. So volume equals 3.14 times 6 squared times 8 divided by 3. So remember, the first thing you have to do is 6 squared. So it's going to be volume equals 3.14 times 36 times 8 divided by 3. So again, this module, all it is is knowing the formula and just being able to plug in numbers and use your proper order of operations. So 3.14 times 36 times 8 divided by 3 is 301.44. So 301.44, which it says round to the nearest tenth. So that's this spot. So volume equals 301.4 uh, cubic inches. Whenever you're dealing with volume, you're dealing with cubic inches when you have a three-dimensional shape of a cylinder, cone, or sphere. So on the your turn, just remember it has the cone, has a height of 410, a diameter of 424, but we can't have uh, the diameter. You have to use the radius. So for that one, radius equals 424 divided by 2 which is 212. So your radius is 212, your height is 410, and use 3.14 for pi. Uh, that's all I have with that one. If you have any questions, please reach out to me, and I will respond as quick as I can through email and give you some videos and examples on how to understand this. Thank you. Have a great day.